Hello everyone, today is, it is June 14th and tonight I have an event with Manolo Blahnik. They actually gifted me a gorgeous pair of heels and I'm headed to a little cocktail event that they have. So I thought that we could quickly get ready together. I'm gonna do some Cubbies Next Up Vitamin C Serum. I'm excited for this event. I'm actually going with my friend Kate Bach. She's a dear friend to me. She's a friend of the channel. She's been on here many times. After we're done getting ready, I am going to get dressed. I have a couple of options. I like don't know what to wear. I literally was looking in my closet and I saw that it was like cocktail attire and I was like, oh, that's easy. And then I looked in my closet and I was like, I don't have anything like cocktail attire at all. Like I literally don't even have one single like little black dress, which is ridiculous. So I ran out, I bought a bunch of stuff. We have options, people. Anyway, I'm just going through my hair really quickly, doing a rough, very, very rough straighten. I did my flat iron waves for you guys a long time ago, um, but now I actually lately have been using a wand to do my waves. So that's what we're gonna do today, kids. So I pieced my hair half and half, as you can see. It isn't cute, but it works. Anyway, this is, oh my lord. Okay, this is the wand that I've been using. It's the GHD Trizone Technology. Has a bit of a weird shape, but I like it because it doesn't have the clamp on it. No matter what, when I use a flat iron with a clamp on it, my hair, I always get like the clamp bump on there. I like this because you can like move it a little bit and make sure that the heat kind of transfers. In three, two, one. Obviously, I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and I'll show you the result. Okay, checking in, I'm halfway done. You see what I mean? I feel like this is like a cooler, more modern wave than my flat iron waves, but maybe I'm overthinking it, but let me finish the other side. Hair is complete. This is the texture. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Jisoo hair oil. I have so many like crazy baby hairs coming in from postpartum, I lost like all of my hair. Anyway, this is it for hair. Let's move on to makeup. This is gonna be a very down and dirty, quick makeup. Some instant age rewind concealer, some Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 220, some Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I'm gonna do a little bit of this bronzer in the crease here. I spent so much time dilly-dallying doing my hair and being so excited to show you this new wave that I'm like, um, I have to leave in like two seconds. Moving on to blush, I'm doing Maybelline's Superstay in the color Vinyl on my face. It's like almost semi-permanent feeling and looking and being. Obviously it looks like way too much right now and that's kind of my thing, but I tone it down. Just, just bear with me, be patient, be patient. I like to kind of like bush it up bush it out. I like to buff it out a little bit with a larger brush. Then I bring in this milk highlighter in the color Lit. I'm gonna do my brows off camera because they take me a really long time. Next, I'm doing this Maybelline Curl Bounce Colossal. And lastly for lip, I am doing Clinique Chubstick in Fuller Fig. Quick, easy, natural makeup for an event. Now let's go figure out what to wear. Okay, here is outfit option number one. I don't really feel like this is the right fit. I feel a little too like Upper East Side Gossip Girl vibes. I don't know why. Here is option number two. I'm leaning a little bit more towards this. So this dress is Reformation. I haven't worn something like this bodycon, like obviously in a long time. Like, you know, I don't know. I'm just like not used to having tight stuff here since having Teddy, but I actually think it's really flattering. It's a good contender. Con con contender. Okay, this is the third option. This is also Reformation. I feel like this could work. I just don't wanna be too casual and this feels a little more on the casual side. All right, team, last option. And I think this is the option because I just went in and showed Kyle in his office and he was like, yeah. I really hope this is not too underdressed. All right, everyone, this is the final look. If you comment below and say it's too casual, I will cry. So I'm gonna go meet up with my girlfriend, Kate Bach. I'm actually going to the Hamptons with her on Thursday as well for an event. So it's a week full of Kate, so let's go. Good morning, everyone. Hi, happy Wednesday. I just woke up, I'm in bed having my 
iced oat milk latte. So yesterday was really fun. The Manolo Blahnik event was really cool. I actually saw a bunch of models that I haven't seen in such a long time and girls that I used to work with and know and some girls have babies now. And I don't know, it was just like really cool to like catch up and kind of see some people I haven't seen in a while. Like I feel like I don't really see that many models anymore. I am actually going to work out really quickly. I'm gonna run three miles and then I am going to get ready and we are headed to our house. We are closing on our house today. So I'll take you guys with me, kind of show you what's happening and some of the updates and you'll get a little Kyle time. We'll ask him some questions in the car. Okay, everyone, I'm in the car with Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> we are closing on our house today, which is super exciting. We are going to see it. We'll give you some updates in a little bit. Do you feel excited? Yes. Show us your enthusiasm. What do you think of the house so far, Kyle? Looks great. Good morning, everyone. Hello, it is like 5.30 in the morning. We closed on our house yesterday, which was so great and so exciting, but Kyle and I did like 10,000 things yesterday. Like we were on calls and like running around and closing on this house and then like rushing home and then I like got home to Teddy and obviously wanted to be with her and she was in a really bad mood and then we had to run to a dinner and it was just like a really, really hectic day. So then I like stopped filming after we left the house because I was just like, there's a lot going on right now. I feel like I slept for like two seconds. I don't feel great, but that's okay. Kyle is in Iceland now for a trip. That's great for him. I have to work today. I am headed to the Hamptons with my best friend Kate Bach and we're actually headed to Rag and Bone's new store opening and I have to do some content for them and go to the store opening and go to a brunch. Um, it'll be really fun, but we have to leave very early. I'm gonna give myself 30 minutes to just like sit here and like watch TikTok chill. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go and shower and get myself together, and then we have a long drive to the Hamptons. That'll be a fun day, plus I get to do it with one of my best friends, so I can't complain too much. So, I'll see you guys in like 15 minutes. I promise I'll be like, on it. Okay, I am quickly getting ready right now. I just put on my Cubby Last Finale's moisturizer. Look how good my skin looks. <sighs> not gonna lie, I'm not feeling good <laughs> about leaving today. It's like six o'clock in the morning, and I have to be in a car by seven. And on one hand, I'm so excited to like be working and be busy again, like being a model, like being an influencer. I felt excited when that stuff started trickling back in after I had Teddy because like I like to be busy, I like to work, I like to feel productive, but I'm not good about leaving her all day again today. And I'm really obviously grateful and lucky that I have someone here helping me take care of her. Like we have a nanny, but I don't know, leaving her all day and not seeing her at like the mom guilt thing is real and yeah, I just feel really sad. Comment below if you struggle with something similar, if you're a working mom. Okay, everyone, I'm in the car with Kate, my dear friend Kate Box. She's a friend of the channel and been on here many times. Putting my lip on. Yeah, we're getting ready. We are on our way to the Hamptons right now. It is unfortunately raining outside, but we are headed to Gurney's in Montauk, and we are also going to the Rag and Bone store in East Hampton, their new store that's going to be opening. So we are chatting and catching up. Kate is getting married in two weeks. Kate, are you doing any skin things? Like, I've done skin things, so I feel like I'm in a very good place right now. Looks good. So actually the one recommendation I got from my derm was don't do anything crazy because yeah. you don't want to do something that then you have a weird reaction to and then you're gonna like look yeah. like a different human. So that's true. go light and test it out weeks before so that in case anything goes wrong, you've recovered. So no lasers then, you're just like taking good care months of your out skin. Yeah. yeah, yeah, lots of water. It's like boring stuff, but also sleeping. Yeah, Resting. not doing super well to sleep. But, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we both woke up at like the crack of dawn to like be on our way here. Um, Cause I've got a baby to get home to and she has wedding planning to do. So anyway, we will show you what it looks like from the event, where we're at in the store and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, Kate and I just arrived to Gurney's in Montauk. Kate is freshening up. I'm waiting for her to be done with her curling iron so I can yep. use it. And this is our hotel room, very cute. She's got great. some really nice gift bags from Rag and Bone. Check out the view. Okay, here's my outfit. I'm wearing this rag and bone little knit sweater, rag and bone jeans and shoes, which you cannot see. But yeah. Beautiful rag and bone store. All right guys, I'm home. Um, 
it's like eight o'clock at night. Kate and I had such a big and full on day in the Hamptons, but we are home now. <laughs> I'm sure I flashed some content of the Rag and Bone brunch. It was so much fun. It was great to be in the Hamptons for a little while. I haven't been there since last summer when I was pregnant and stuff. So it felt good to be back. Now I have a ton of packages to like unbox and cleaning up to do and all of that. But tomorrow's a little bit more of a low key day. I will be working mostly and I'll be seeing a friend and spending time with Teddy, which I absolutely can't wait to do. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. Hi, it is Friday morning. We are back in New York. I'm here, Kyle is away right now. So I'm just like catching up on a million emails because the last like two days I was like at our house and then like out in the Hamptons and I feel like I've got like a massive buildup of stuff to catch up on. So I'm going to do that. I'm super excited. My best friend and co-founder Christina gets back into the city actually tonight. So I'm gonna hang with Teddy all day today and do some work while I can and then see her tonight, which I like just can't wait to do. Like we need to catch up and just like have a glass of wine and just, as we like to say it, we call it mummifying, where we just like don't speak or have to interact with anyone or work. We just like can chill. I'm gonna um, actually look at a, a video that's being edited for me right now. I'm super excited to like get back into the flow with YouTube and have more consistent videos. So I've got some content to review. So I'll check in with you guys a little bit later today. Okay, I was just editing a video that I just filmed. I did a whole video all about my experience with postpartum anxiety. So I was just uploading that into Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna edit that and hopefully post that in the next week or two. But now it's time to hang with Teddy. We've got the full afternoon. Also, I just got a massive package from Monday Swimwear. We can try that on together. And now it's Teddy time. Go, 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 go Teddy, go Teddy, go Teddy. <laughs>